and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to How to Cook Great Food.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, we're making a raw banana or green banana masala, a coconut curry. Now, before I get loads of emails and questions about it, which I'm sure I will, I'm going to explain a little bit later about planting and green banana. They are different, but you could use both for this, no problem. Anyway, healthy, superbly tasty, vegan, let's go and do it. Okay, let's take a look at our green bananas. So green bananas or raw bananas as they're also known are not planting. Uh, there's a difference between planting and this green or raw banana. Planting, I mean they look pretty much the same, there's not a massive difference, but planting is a little bit more kind of potatoey and starchy. Uh, the recipe we're going to do today you could use either, it, it won't really matter too much. Now uh, getting these prepared, some people will cut the end off there and the end off there and peel them, you know, like kind of, you know, give them, give them a peel and then boil them like that. You can actually even microwave them, believe it or not, they'll work. Some people will steam them, pressure cook them. We're simply going to drop our ones into some water. We're going to bring it to the boil. We're going to cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes. I usually find that fine. And then once that's done, we, it's easy to take the skin off and we can kind of get moving. Let's do that. Okay, so simply, I've got a large pan here, cold water, and I've just stuck my green banana or raw banana inside. Now, some people, um, well, when I say some people, or a different technique, if you're going to cut the ends off and then peel them, some people would then slice it up, put it into water, and maybe add some turmeric or howdy. We're not doing that today, obviously. It will make no difference to us. Now, because these are not particularly big, they're not huge, these guys, once this gets to boiling point, I'm going to let it go on a nice rolling boil for about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the size that you're using, because some of them are, you know, enormous. So, you know, 10 to 12 minutes is going to be great for me, I think. Okay, off goes the heat. Get a load of steam out of there for you. So, there we go. They've been going for... 12, 12 odd minutes like that. Now some people will cook them, especially if they're going to put them in a pressure cooker. They'll cook them until they turn completely black. I don't really find that necessary. I mean, they're starting to change a little bit of colour. Now, what we need to do is get them out, let them cool down so we can handle them. Okay, there we go. So simple. Now, here's one. Here, I held one back. So they'll just sort of peel, just like a normal banana. Now, really easy. The skin comes off. Otherwise, it's pretty, pretty tough, you know. So I'm just going to clip the end, the ends off. Now what we've got is these ready to roll. Now if you kind of just treat them like a potato I suppose, that's kind of where we are. Um, let me just show you, it's, we can kind of cut them in this fashion. Obviously still a little bit more harder than a ripe banana. But yeah, we're ready. Let's get moving. Okay, so let's get moving here. So I've got a nice pan. I've got some oil in there. I'm using a ground nut oil today, but you could use any oil that you wanted. We're just getting this nice and warm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our whole garam masala. I'll just run through these with you now. Because I wanna get this nice and kind of aromatic, this one. So I'm gonna use a, a few different things today. Start anise, a little bit of that, which I love. Just a few cloves, some dried red chilli, and then I've got fennel seeds and mustard seeds. That's what I'll be using today. I think this is a nice combination for this. So let's just cook these in this oil. They'll infuse it and get it moving for us. Thank you. 
That's all very good. Now I'm going to go in with some curry leaves. And chopped garlic and ginger. And then simply we're going to go in with our banana. While I'm here, I'm going to add some salt. Now these are quite firm still, you know, I mean I can't, I mean I can break them, but they're still quite firm. We're now going to throw these around on a fairly lively heat for about four minutes stirring all the time. These are coming on lovely. I mean, the smell of this is incredible. Really, really happy with these. At this point, we're going to add some powders. I've got three powders that I'm using today. Turmeric, chili powder, and coriander powder. I'm not using cumin powder today because it's just a little bit hard. I want to kind of keep it nice and light and the coriander it's certainly nice and light. And they're about equal parts of. Now simply, I'm going to go in with some coconut milk. Now I've got a can of coconut milk. amazing. Okay let's get the heat down now to so fairly low just above a simmer. The only other thing I'm going to do is just prepping them now. Some fresh chilli which I've just slit down the middle there and I throw them in whole like that. So all we're trying to do now is to make sure that our banana is nice and tender so keep it nice and low and I'm gonna let this go for about I would say another sort of six seven minutes give it a stir every now and then we're pretty much done okay this is done I think absolutely beautiful you can see it's kind of thickened and kind of cooked down a little bit that coconut milk We've got a really, really lovely masala. I'm going to finish this off now with a couple of little pinches of garam masala powder. You could add some cilantro or coriander to this if you wanted, but for me, this is just great. Now you may have noticed there's no onions in this one, which was a deliberate thing. I didn't forget before people messaged me. Really, really happy with that. Now, the banana is a little bit hard still, but that's just because I like it like that. So it's, I mean, completely edible. It's, I mean, it's not that hard, but it's, uh, it's, I cut it really easily. But I like it like that. Some people would make it a bit softer. You can decide that yourself, can't you? Anyway, that's it. Really, really loving this one. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you soon. Lots of love. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family?